this papaya and grapefruit. Okay. Cleanse twice daily with our best selling face wash. This papaya and grapefruit. Okay. It smells like something you'd put in your hair after relaxing it, but okay. Infused formula removes excess oil and dulling surface impurities to rejuvenate the complexion, leaving skin bright and refreshed. Gently massage cleanser in circular motions on wet skin. Then rinse thoroughly with warm water. Be sure to follow with an appropriate toner and moisturizer. If products gets into eyes, rinse well with water. I'm surprised I didn't say be sure to follow with our Mario Badescu toner and moisturizer. But anyway, so it's very gel like, it's very slippery. Let's add some water. Yeah, so even when you 60 second rule it, it doesn't seem to really, it doesn't foam. I really want things to foam. It's just slippery. It feels like I've put okra on my face. But that's a good thing too. Who knows? Pretty sure okra will be good in your hair because it's slippery like aloe vera. So this might be good for when you have makeup on, but it just doesn't feel like it's something that will break anything down. I need to see foam, I need to really feel a little bit of strip because I have very oily, well, oily combination skin. You know that people don't focus on their eyebrows, that's good too, you know, sometimes you can get pimples over there. I feel like that needs to be cleansed as well. You can get pimples all around here. And actually, if you're in the shower, you should do your chest and your back as well. I'm gonna wash it off and come right back. Like it's still slippery. Very odd. Maybe that's hydration or some kind of film that's left on the skin. Maybe that's how they do it. Maybe, I don't know. But they say it's for all skin types. You know these people, they have a whole line here. www.mariobadescu.com You can find whatever else. I do find that things sometimes just smell a bit funny. Like this one, they said papaya and whatever else, grapefruit. It just doesn't smell like that. It smells a bit more chemically. If you're gonna ha let it have a scent, let it at least be a very nice and pleasant scent. This one smells. Mm -mm. No. But anywho, I um, just wanted to let you know what it do. And it's what it does. So if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit the bumps thumb as a zone to the subscribe button. Comment because I want to know what you think. Have you tried some of these things? Do you want to try it? It's all the rave. Especially the one that you spray, like the cucumber one. That one doesn't smell good either. I've smelled it before. But anyway. And um, like because you obviously like this video. I'll see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. Um, also, why are you doing all that commenting and liking? Hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Big time for glorious life. It's time to start a what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm. Okay, now with no flash, actually, you can see the strip. Striperization. My face looks really dull. But okay, I'm back because I wanted to show you guys. Do you hear that? It's kind of like sticky. Hmm, don't know if I like that. Like I'm telling you, it's like it's like the stuff is still on there and you can't get it off. That's what it feels like. And I know people have stopped using things like Clarisonic to really get things off or like what's the other thing called the Foreo and stuff like that. People have really stopped using those things because I guess they say it's too abrasive on the skin and that we should just use our hands. But how do you get this weird layer that's just chilling? How do you get that off? Ridiculous.